In this video, I'll take you through how to process an, an astro image using Simon Telescopium's Astro Actions. These are free actions for Photoshop, and a link to them can be found in the description of the video. Let's get started. OK, I'm going to open the file, um, which I've called Test. This here gives you an idea of what the um, original single frames look like before they went into Astro Pixel Processor. So this is a uh, five minute hydrogen alpha frame. I had three hours of these. I had two hours of O3 filter and an hour of S2 filter. Um, the O3 and the S2 filter don't show any nebulosity at all. Obviously you can see this is stretched quite a bit and you can see there's quite a lot of noise in the image. Um, I'm going to get rid of this layer show you this is what it looked like after it came out of Astro Pixel Processor. So this is, I use Astro Pixel Processor to calibrate the frames, to stack the frames, to then convert the three black and white channels um, from the narrowband filters into a colour image um, and then to uh, stretch the frame and save a 16-bit TIFF. And what, what this here is, is that 16-bit TIFF. OK. So, I'm now going to take you through how I, ch how I edit this to get to the finished um, image using my um, Astro Actions. Uh, so I'm Telescopium's Astro Actions star. OK, so I will start. Um, by splitting out the stars in the sky. So I'll just go to my actions and I'm going to separate stars and background. Now all of my actions, they tell you what version they're on. I update them reasonably regularly, so it's worth checking. They're non-destructive, which means that they don't alter any of the existing layers that you've already got. Um, they act, the source of the action is the layer that you've currently got selected. Um, and they do a history snapshot at the start so that you can get back to where you was before the action ran. Um, I do all these things just to make it easier to get back to where you were if you didn't like what had happened. And you can see here it creates two layers, stars on one, background on the other. And um, this will be our first step because we want to uh, improve the nebulosity, we want to colour the stars and so on. So this is the first step we take. This one takes quite a while to finish. Um, basically what's happening is it's doing lots of dust and, dust and scratches filters, um, starting with quite a large radius um, and a large threshold and then slowly working down to a small radius and a small threshold. And this will um, it then takes, that, that will result in a frame without any stars in and it takes that away from the original frame um, so that you can end up with a frame that's got stars and a frame that doesn't have stars. Obviously you can do this manually, this is obviously a lot quicker than doing it manually, whilst it still takes some time. Um, it saves having to remember the sequence and the parameters for the filter. OK, when it's finished, all of my, I always come up with a message saying what's happened. You can see it's created a stars layer and a stylus layer. And it says the image may look the same, but you can now apply actions and modifications to either the stars or the background. So just click continue or stop. doesn't really matter because it's the end of the process. Click continue. Let's go back to the layers. You can see now I've got a stars layer and a stylus layer. So if I, that's the stylus layer. And that's the stars layer. Now, as it happens, I'm not actually going to use the stars layer, so I'm going to delete that. Um, I 
could turn the background layer on and it'll look exactly as it did before. Um, so if I just turn that on and off, you can't see any difference. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the background layer off just so you can see what's happening here. So I think the first thing that I will do is I will do a, um, a minimize space noise. So again, I get the little note up telling me exactly what's going to happen. I'll click continue. This won't take long. And it's done the minimize space noise. Now, this to me is a bit too punchy. Go to layers. What I'm now going to do, and this is where you, um, this is where it's good to understand what these things are doing so that you can actually alter them. I've got two choices here. I think this is a bit too punchy. I can um, reduce the opacity so that some of the pre other layers come through more so that it looks more like I want it to look. That's one possibility. Or another possibility, which I'm going to do, um, just so that I can show you, is I'm going to select this layer here. And I'm just going to darken this a bit. So I'm just going to go into image adjustments. And um, I think I'll go into levels to start with. And I'll just darken it out a bit. Um, the dark layers, the darker it is, those layers will have less impact on the overall finish. So I think I'll just do that. Click OK. And um, I think I'll also reduce the opacity a little. OK, now if I put the stars back on, that's what we've got. OK, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and improve the dark areas here. So I'm going to use this stylist layer, which hadn't been modified. If we look at it, there it is. And I'm going to run another action called Galaxy Dust Enhance, which is basically enhances dark areas. Continue. And if we look at our layers now, we've got a new layer called Galaxy Dust Enhance. And um, we no longer need our stylist layer, so I'll get rid of that. I'll turn the original layer back on now. Um, so if we can look at these. This is what it looks like at the moment. And then if I turn these off, that's what it looks like. So it's slightly, you know, uh, you probably can't tell on the YouTube filter on the YouTube algorithms probably to stop you from compression probably stops you from seeing this but if I just zoom in to this area here here um, so that's that's the original that's with the galaxy dust enhance see that it's just sharpening up those darker areas and then if I put the minimize space noise filter on it helps a little bit further okay so now I'm going to, I want to color the stars are all white and I'd like to sort of put a bit of color into them so I'm going to run another action, which is color stars, which is this one. Click color stars again, same sort of thing. Click continue. And it's colored the stars, but you can see it's also colored this a bit too much. So I, I do want a little bit of red highlighting around these, but I don't want this much. So if we look at what's actually happened, um, I've, it's the color stars filter has created a layer, and that layer includes these areas here, um, which are the nebulosity. Now, the white areas are the areas that are affected, and the black areas are the areas that aren't. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken down 
these areas so they're not affected so much so I'm just going to perhaps connect this to maybe this one to eight maybe just a mid grey okay and then I'm just going to use a brush put this on to darken and I'm just going to darken these up to mid grey these bits of nebulosity so that they're still still darkened but they will hope, well, hopefully won't be darkened so much and I might not have to do this more than once make it darker than, than this but we'll start with this okay that looks like it's all done let's just have a look at it so this bit here still looks a bit too uh, it, it all just looks I need to take do it one more time I think so I need to make it a little bit darker so and which makes it a bit darker than what it currently is. Let's bring it down to say there. Okay. Do it again. So it's basically just reducing the effect in these areas. Finally, this one here. Okay, now let's have a look at it now. You can see we've got a little bit of colour going on here, but it's not too much. Now, if I wanted to um, increase the, see the colours are starting to come out here, there's slightly yellow here, slightly blue here. If I wanted to in, increase this a bit more, and there's slightly red over here, um, then I can by um, just duplicating this layer. So I'll just duplicate the layer. Um, and you can see now it's. This is an extreme version, obviously, it's not not really what we want. Um, so we can now uh, fiddle around with it a bit more. So click Alt on there. I think what I'll do now is for this layer, I'll completely remove the highlighting that's going on here. Just by matter, make it all black. And this layer won't have any impact on these areas. Same here. Okay, so we look at it now. Um, so these areas um, haven't really been enhanced the second time around. Obviously, the stars are too punchy. So now what I will do is I will change the opacity of this that has less of an impact like that I quite like how this is blue here and this is purple here and these are yellow and there's some reds in here I might just remove that red there that looks a bit too punchy to me so I'll click on there and then I should be able to now let's knock that out a bit Same with these ones, a bit too red for my liking. You can argue about if this is valid or not, if you should be doing this, but if you want a picture to look nice or, you know, it's not look nice to you, I think it looks nice, but it may not look nice to everyone, um, then this is what you do. Possibly one more thing that I'd like to do, um, which is just reduce the color in the background here to make it more gray um, rather than this pinky red color. So I'll just sort that out. Okay, so to sort these areas out that are a little bit too pink, that I want to be a little bit grayer, um, I need to create that mask again that doesn't have the stars on. Um, so perhaps I shouldn't have, it was a bit early in getting rid of it, but never mind. I'll just create it again. This is my original layer, layer zero. Go to my actions um, and I'll just separate stars and sky. Click continue and let that run through again. Um, you can keep doing these things because it doesn't, 
it doesn't ever affect the um, the layers you've got there um, and therefore you can um, keep creating them and going back to them deleting them and so on it's not really a problem so I'll just let this finish I'll just speed this bit up of the video Okay, that's done. Back to our layers. Don't need the stars layer, so we'll delete that one. Um, what we want to do with this layer is, first of all, I'm going to select it all. So let me just show you what this layer looks like. Let's turn these layers off. You saw this earlier. This layer looks like that. I'm going to select it all, so Control A, Control C to copy it. I'm now going to create a um, hue and saturation layer, and I'm going to paste Control V. Oh. I'll paste that layer in there and I'm going to do control I to invert it. Um, so now it's acting just on the lighter areas. I should be able to remove some of that saturation like that. So there we are, that's really saturated. Uh, I guess some people might like that. Uh, I'm going to remove it to make it almost monochrome. That's just like that, maybe. And now, if we turn the other things back on, and finally the stars, we've got our final image. So, oh, it's not quite final image. There's one more thing that I'd like to do. So let's just do that. Go back to my actions again and um, just going to pop a frame on it and this frame will auto size to the size of your image and um, it leaves a bit of a border around everything and a bit at the bottom here uh, now I can just fill that frame just got the layers start here and fill it and just fill the others as well. So if I do control zero, I've now got space here to write what I've done. It's nicely framed and um, that's my final image. So if I go to history, create a snapshot. All these snapshots are the snapshots that were created at the different steps. So, you know, we can go through them and see what each step created and how it ended up. And um, we can look at what it was like at the start, except I've got the layer. I've got the original frame on top, so I can't really show you that. Perhaps that's what it looked like at the start versus um, what it looks like now. So, if, sorry, before and then after. So the differences are we've got some colour going on around here. We've got some nice colours in the stars, nice yellow star there, nice blue star there, some very blue stars around here, so it just, it's quite a nice effect, and then I'll type in the details of the image here, and that's it, that's how you use some telescopians, um, astro actions, and hopefully what I've shown you there is that you can do them, you can edit your picture very quickly and get to a reasonable result, you might want to spend hours playing to get this exact but as a quick 
um, tutorial on how to sort of um, color your stars, increase the contrast of the nebulosity, the dark nebula here, um, how to remove some of the color from the background, how to separate stars from the sky. Um, you should have seen all of that. Okay. If you've enjoyed watching, then please click the thumbs up. There'll be a link in the description of um, how to get my um, Astro Actions. And um, if you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. Thanks for watching.